Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history and language behind the words we use every day. If language and history are subjects you're interested in, please consider subscribing so you never miss a word. My name is Benjamin Lewis. This week, we're doing another vocabulary word, and this is one of my favorites. It's Sisyphean, adjective, of or related to repetitive or fruitless tasks or labors, similar to the punishment of Sisyphus by Hades and Zeus. Etymology and vocabulary building. Stories are not only a great way to remember words or remember anything in general, really. They're also a great way for new words to be created. And that's exactly what happened with this word Sisyphean. It comes from the Greek myth of Sisyphus. Now, I'm definitely not going to do this story justice in this video about vocabulary words, but I'm going to tell the story, at least parts of it anyway, to give you an idea, to give you something for your mind to latch onto with this word so that you can remember it and use it because it's a word that can be used a lot. Sisyphus was the king of a city-state in Greece that we now call Corinth. He was well known for his wit and cunning, and all his trouble started one day when he saw Zeus fly by in the form of an eagle, carrying a nymph. Moments later, the river god, who was the father of this nymph, came by and asked which way Zeus had gone. Sisyphus decided to make a deal. In exchange for the information, the river god was going to create a spring in the middle of his city. Needless to say, Zeus wasn't very happy with this, and he then requested that Thanatos, the god of death, go and capture Sisyphus and take him to the underworld. There were even special chains made and shackles to capture Sisyphus. When Thanatos approached Sisyphus, Sisyphus asked if he could be shown how these wonderful shackles and chains worked, and in a great show of wit, he convinced Thanatos to capture himself. Now with the god of death captured, no one could die. And this, of course, really angered Ares, the god of war. Because in a battle with no one able to die, there's no fun in the battle anymore. And now this was only the first story about how Sisyphus cheated death. There were, there's at least one more. Now, Eventually, he did go to live a full, long life and died of old age. And that's when Zeus got the last word. The punishment that was dished out to Sisyphus in the afterlife was to push a boulder up a hill. And when he finally neared the top of the hill with this boulder, it was cursed so that it would slip from his grasp and roll back down to the bottom where we would have to trudge down and push it back up the hill again. And this is where the term Sisyphean comes from, describing activities that are fruitless and daunting and have to be done over and over and over again. And this story of Sisyphus strikes a chord with many people describing the way a lot of people just feel in life in general like they're struggling day in, day out, doing things that don't mean anything and accomplish nothing. Now, something that I think is important and has been important for me in maintaining my happiness in my life is to choose struggles that really mean nothing, but I think bring me meaning and something that I enjoy doing. And in this way, Sisyphus can get the last laugh on Zeus. One of the things I do is I ride my bike to work, rain or shine, and it sucks. But I've chosen to do that, and the fact that it's something that I have chosen makes it bearable, makes it fun, and I look back on every time I do it as something that I've, I've enjoyed. So, and this is something that uh, Michael Malice, one of my favorite podcasters, points out that this is from a essay written by Camus 
about the myth of Sisyphus. We have to imagine Sisyphus being happy in this activity. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.